Welcome to Butterflies of Wisdom, everyone. By the time you hear this, it will be Thursday or Friday, depending on when you listen to it. I hope you're not affected by the aftermath of Hurricane Irma or the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. But with me today, I have Mr. Jeremy Slate. Mr. Jeremy is a podcaster of Create Your Own Life. So without further ado, I'm going to let Jeremy take it away. Hey, Wynn. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here hanging out with you today and, and giving me some of your time so I can share some value with your audience today. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to the knowledge bombs. So, Jeremy, please explain to my audience, I know what you do, but my audience doesn't know what you do. Absolutely. So I have a podcast called Create Your Own Life where I interview um, high performers that have created life on their own terms so that I can help people um, that aren't quite there yet, like myself, um, be able to really have some high level of achievement. I also have uh, two businesses, one called Slate Media Productions, where I uh, produce several top-rated podcasts in the health space and uh, another called Get Featured, where we help people uh, to be featured as guests on uh, top-rated podcasts. And as part of that process, uh, we actually coach them on, like, what a great guest looks like. So when they show up for those different podcasts, they, they show up as their, their best. So um, I do those two things, and I also uh, married for two years now and have a love of animals, two dogs, and a uh, miniature pig that uh, lives with us. Miniature pig. It lives with you. And my naturally of animals, the podcasting. And so, tell me, what has been your favorite podcast that you have done? As in me, like, as a, as a host, I guess? As in you as a host, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I guess because it was more of a fanboy moment for me, it was Grant Cardone, because I've just followed Grant for so many years. And to finally get a chance to, to sit down and kind of pick his brain a bit was really, really cool. Um, also, I got to interview um, one of the stars of the TV show Heroes, which I watched for years. So another, I guess, fanboy moment to get to, to interview one of the stars there and be like, so what was it like? Because um, to me, it's, it's always interesting to be able to talk to people that have very interesting and unique careers and do them at a high level because I'm just so interested in what goes into that. Well, I am interested in that, too. That's why I started this podcast, because I'm interested in sharing people's stories with the disabled, and um, my audience is more of the disabled crowd than um, the solo entrepreneur crowd. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's a mix of both. It's a heavy mix of both. I would say I get a 50 50 but, and so it's always interesting sharing other people's stories like yours. And I, my next question to you is, what is your favorite book? It doesn't have to be a business book per se, although it can be. It just has to be a book that you go back to time and time again. Um, oh, gosh. Um well, I, I, there, there's there's one book that I love that I don't go back to it time and time again, um, and I'll give you another in a second that I do go back to time and time again, but one book that I loved was Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, and he kind of researches all these different people that are highly successful or highly different and outside the grain. Um, like, he looks at this one town in Pennsylvania, and all the immigrants were from Italy, and they lived to a very old age, and they lived very healthy, and he looks at, like, okay, so what makes these people so different? He dove into their diet and dove into all these different things to really kind of figure that out. So to me, it's really, really interesting to just see what makes people that perform at a high level or, or just intensely different, what makes them so, because I feel like that's a lot of our, our special genius and our special ability is, is to be so different. I just I feel like that's so, so much a gift um, to us and to humanity. Um, the one book that I go back to time and time again um, – I've read like four times now, but it's a, a long book. It's like 1,500 pages. It's Atlas Shrugged uh, by Ayn Rand. And it basically goes through the whole thing of, you know, what would happen to society if we took away people that were producing anything of value. And 
it's really, really interesting, like, the picture she paints of, of what it would really be like. And I presume those two books can be found on Amazon. Oh, of course they can. Um, both of them are on Amazon. Yeah, both of them are on Amazon. And if you had to be educated by anyone inside or outside your field, who would it be and why? Gosh, um, do they have to be living or can they be dead or, or, or what, what are my – They can uh, be anyone. Different? They can be hmm. anyone. Gosh. Um, hmm. I would say probably Dan Kennedy. Dan Kennedy is one of the top copywriters out there. And to me, I, it's just – we can do so much, especially in the online space and the marketing space. If we can write copy uh, that really connects with people and really – helps them to understand how we can help. So if I could work with anyone, um, it would definitely be Dan Kennedy, just because I just find what he's done and done for so long to be really, really impressive. Well, Dan Kennedy is it. I have never heard of Dan Kennedy, and I'm in the book space. I'm going back to the store <laughs> as we speak to get my online journalism degree. I started publishing books when I was 23 years old, and I have yet to hear Dan Kennedy. Well, Dan, Dan Kennedy and, and Bill Glazer is the guy he used to work with for many, many years. They had a company called uh, Glazer Kennedy Inner Circle. And what would you ask Dan Kennedy? Honestly, like, what his process is like for creation? Because I just, I feel like for, for, me, I could probably sit down at a computer for hours, and I couldn't write something that worded the way he could or as persuasive as, as what he, you know, has written. So I'd really like to learn, like, what is this process like? What is this creation process like? Because I feel like that's so important to, you know, what we're doing, to, to really be able to put it together correctly. Well, I agree with you. And what is your favorite technology tool that you use on a daily basis? Hmm. I love technology, first of all, I'll say. So I, I tend to go to a lot of things technology. Um, right now, my phone isn't my, my biggest friend. As I was telling you, uh, kind of in our pre-chat, um, my wife stepped on it, so I'm kind of dealing with this whole broken screen thing right now. But for me, yep. um, being that I do so many interviews, it's uh, something called Zencaster, and I use it very, very often. And uh, the cool thing about it is um, I use it for recording, and it just let, allows me to send a guest a link, and it records on their side, like actually on their computer rather than through, like, Wi-Fi like a lot of us do, um, through Skype or something like that. And then after the interview, it sends the recording automatically to my Dropbox. So it's kind of cool that um, it's really able to, to, to handle a lot of these streaming issues we used to have because they were my biggest nightmare. So to me, that's the thing I use the most. Yeah. And what would be your best advice to someone listening to this podcast who wants to start a successful podcast like you and I have? Well, I think the biggest thing, Wayne, and you've probably found this too, is, is like having an idea of who you want to serve. Um, because I think that's the biggest problem. Like, I, I started a podcast um, – gosh, probably almost three years ago now, and it was called Rock Your Life, and it was it was atrocious. It was, like, the worst thing ever created. Um, and I had it kind of this idea that I was this person that was going to educate and was going to tell people what to do, and I was the expert. And the problem was when, like, I was none of those things. So I was trying to really give people information that I didn't have experience with that wasn't really going to be helpful because I was acting like I was this expert. So for me, I made this big shift when I started Create Your Own Life, and it really was a, just a passion project for myself of who would I want to learn from? Because you asked me earlier who would I want to learn from. So I wrote down a list of the top 100 people I most admired, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to learn from them, and I'm going to use that as the podcast. So because I created this whole, like, beingness of a student, I actually created something really valuable. So to me, the tip would be, become a student of what you want to teach. And I think really when you look at it that way, you're going to see a lot more success 
in what you're doing than coming at it as, even if you do have a lot of experience in what you do, as you're the expert. Because especially when you're doing a lot of interviews, it's hard to be the expert all the time. Be the student of what you want to teach. Yes, and I definitely agree with that. Now, where can people find you and where can people get a hold of you, be on life? And then where can people find your website? Yeah, no, they can find me um, on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or any of these places. I'm at Jeremy Ryan Slate. It's the same across all platforms. Uh, my website is jeremyryanslate.com. Um, or if you're looking at the business side of things, that's over at getfeatured.com. And those are the best places to find me. And before I let you go, continue your incredible work, Jeremy, I'm wondering if you have any questions for me. Hmm. How do you uh, – this, kind of, this is kind of an interesting one for me because I know you, you mentioned that you do a lot of what you have being disabled. How have you used the disability as your superpower? Because for me, I've always had – Oh, geez. And I've used that as my superpower. How have you used that? as kind of something that's been a strength rather than a weakness? Well, I use CP as my superpower to educate people, number one, about CP, number two, Mm -hmm. to share my unique story on my podcast and my, um, through my books and through my teaching, I actually teach diversity on the side of writing books. And so I use CP as a superpower all the time. And I play the I have a physical disability help me card sometimes to get what I want. And I also use, but nine times out of ten, I use my CP as my superpower because people seem to like my story and like my positive attitude. I mean, in the last couple of days, I've been asked, by three people live on this podcast, how do you stay so positive? Mm. That's awesome because I like that. There's a lot of people that are in that place that need to hear it. So way to go for being the voice for that. Well, well, thank you, and I would like to thank Jeremy for coming on my podcast and sharing his knowledge, and we'll have all. Jeremy's information. This podcast has been sponsored by Grace by Grace. We'll also have Grace by Grace information in the show notes. Grace by Grace is a athletic company based out of California, San Diego to be exact. And then we will have all Jeremy's information in the show notes. And Jeremy knows the rules by now. Please, 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 please share this out on social media, everyone, you guys, who's listening to this podcast to make our community bigger. And please, 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 please go check out Create Your Life. And please leave a review in iTunes for those podcasts because all that does is help the podcast algorithms figure out which podcast needs to be seen and be heard by thousands and thousands of people. And again, I thank you, Jeremy, for coming on my podcast, despite having trouble with your iPhone. Uh, (laughs) That's the devil in itself. Uh, The Apple Store needs to be called. But I appreciate you making the time, and I hope you have a terrific day. And thanks, you guys for listening. Bye, you guys. Hello? Is she gone? Wind, are you gone?